Santiago Almeida. This will be their final. Assis is on the right. Almeida is on the, on the left. Easy enough that their respective geek colors will be represented in, in the scoreboard, which is on your screen. Both been doing a little bit of grip fighting, trying to establish their dominant grips. Assis using a double pressure, collar and pulling guard. Pressure, Almost De La Hiva, but that leg is pretty stepped over. Could be a great passing opportunity for Tiago. Maybe going into a throw, knee slice. Throw, throw throw, 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 but that De La Hiva is still throw, in. Throw, Tries to drop his hips. Avoiding a... Assis to he, he, notice Assis's right. left arm coming right. underneath underneath that right. left leg. Down the hook, down that could be problematic. It can go a number of places. Very good head position by Thiago Almeida, but Assis is slowly Pressure. getting under there. Lapel grip with the right hand. So Assis pressure. certainly looking for the deep half guard, I would imagine, here. He is working himself under there very slowly and surely. Sean, reach for his other hand. Grab that hand, pull it. Other way, so other way, Sean. One strategy I see competitors use is to actually lock their hands together on that, uh, on that left leg. Mm -hmm of Tiago. He seems to opt for controlling this bottom leg. What is his intention of I controlling that? I think he's going to try to explode up into a double. Here comes. Yes. Yep. Now he's got the grips. He's going to, if he stands up with this, he's going down. Yep. Yes. There it is. So it kind of secured the double leg grips before we actually turn. Yep. He manages to avoid points and only concede an advantage. He was in a point scoring position, but did not solidify it for yeah. the Required three seconds, resulting in only an advantage. Assis has looked really great so far. Before we saw Assis pull guard from a double collar. Position again, same thing. Pulling right into that half guard. Yep. Well, a nice. long step out of it. Step Not bad, in. but he's going to turn and be on a single. Maybe pass it off to a double. Yeah, he should right now. Should why he could, can could, here. could get in a little trouble being assisted. Maybe a crucifix. Easier said than done, though. But now, now maybe. Yeah, Tiago has a good left hand position. He's at that almost like a leg drag. He's going to be able to keep sitting down. Yep, and pull. Get up, Sean. Get up. Sweep. This is his Sweep, head forward. Sean, yep. the and then come to the top. But. So maybe leg, Sean, maybe switching off to the double might have avoided that problem. Leg, but essentially where we started, which is yeah. a very comfortable position for yeah. us. Absolutely. Tiago has that underhook. But he doesn't have very good uh, solidified position. You notice he's needing to base with his with his left arm. He'd like it a uh, good shoulder pressure and be a little bit lower positionally relative to Assis's body. But the underhook's still doing a, a decent job of avoiding any major trouble. Yeah. See if he slide tries to slide around the head. There he chooses to build up his base briefly, changes his mind, realizing that that would potentially increase Assisi's chances of sweeping. So the referee taps both competitors, which means he's signaling that both of you are going to be getting a, a penalty for passivity in this case. Assis now loads up uh, the leg on the shoulder. Trying to feed the lapel. Yep, double unders coming back up to the other side. 
Tiago doing a, a good job of trying to turn all the way around and recover his position. As he yeah. still has that that gi fed all the way around. Yeah, but Tiago's in a much better position now. He kept his right knee out free. And that grip that Assis has is not near as dangerous, I guess, as if he feeds this left hand. He had to let that go. It's a very, very tricky and frustrating guard to try and pass because you never feel stable despite being so close to the guy. One Almeida, Almeida has a, a decent position here. He's got a nice thumb and grip across the neck. Assis turning away. A lot of people aren't used to people turning away from them when they try and, uh, and knee slice. Yeah, scoots right back underneath. But that turning away is what brings that leg towards you so you can work these deep half positions, come up on those double legs. We've seen this position play out. Every yep. second that ticks away is a, a one of advantage. Yep. Sometimes a Assis. nice idea here is to reach underneath with this right hand for Almeida and grab the belt on the same side over there on his own right side and it allows you to start to knee cut, come back, put pressure yourself up. Right hand. Eight seconds left. He's going to need to earn at least an advantage. Reaches. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to secure an advantage. He's trying to use the instep. Nope. But not going to happen. Not quite do it. Joao Assis becomes the master one black belt super heavyweight champion.